This is an extremely quick and dirty, very fast video on uh, HHO and about the, some of the plate setups. I looked at a bunch of these a couple years ago when gas was very high and I knew it wasn't going to go back up high enough again and surpass where it was. But anyway, um, this is a very, very crude setup, but let me put it this way. It's cheap to make. Anybody can make it. And it, it does something. It's not going to be some wild claims, but I'm just giving this information out for free. But anyway, take a look. Here's the setup on a plates. Okay, there's nine plates. And uh, I forgot to take a ruler out here, but they're, they're about three by five and a half. Okay, uh, it goes positive, neutral, negative, neutral, positive, neutral, negative, neutral, positive. Um, I use 304 stainless steel, it's cheaper, 316 is better. Um, this, like I said, this is a very crude setup, but it's very, very economical and anybody can do it, okay? So I don't want anybody to be scared of like, uh, well you should be scared and respect the HHO. But as far as building this, it, um, to do something, some tiny benefit, there's a cost efficiency in it. Um, now you're looking at this device here, if you want to call it. Basically, this is how I have it set up. I mean, you can see there's various washers in between it, okay? And I have them, uh, it's, it's extremely simple. And you could see, basically, how I have them connected, okay? So, uh, you know, everything is uh, set up with, uh, um, you know, the three bolts, the main bolts that hold it, they're all nylon washers, okay? So there's no contact, contact uh, connectivity there with the electric, and you can see exactly what I have, how I have it connected. Okay, these are the uh, the two negatives. Okay, just a bunch of nuts holding it together. This is all stainless steel. All right, and here's the three positives, just a bunch of nuts in between it, and all the neutrals they don't touch nothing. They're only held together by the uh, the, the nylon washers. This is extremely simple. And when you cut this, I mean, you know, I just cut a bunch of squares the same size instead of getting fancy even drilling holes so too many times and all this kind of garbage. And I just cut the ends off, you know. So there's a corner here that just bypasses. Extremely simple. Now, this can go through the side of a container. This, I think, is too weak of a container. But what you're going to do is you're going to make this on demand, okay. Um, now, a way you, you can use a lot better containers than this, but just saying, this is a, a lock and tight uh, multi storage container, 11 cups, airtight, watertight, odor proof, stain resistant, blah, 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 right? Very cheap. I don't know, what is it, five bucks? You know? But, you know, you could make something better. You could take this and reinforce it with, you know, nylon webbing wrapped around it. This goes right through the side, okay? All right? It goes right through the side. You can use these, uh, you can use some kind of gripper pads or rubber or whatever. Um, you use distilled water, okay? It's a dollar. And here you use uh, household 100% lye. Lye, the chemical name is NaOH, it's sodium hydroxide. Now, how much lye you put in here? It's very, very tiny. I mean, it's not even an eighth of a teaspoon. It's ridiculous. And you don't use uh, tap or you use distilled water. And this solution, when you use distilled water in lye, this uh, sodium hydroxide, NaOH, it holds together a long time. The people are using baking soda, um, that shit wasn't the right stuff. And I'm saying this is an extremely, extremely crude device, but it's, it's cheap, okay? So anybody, now, the thing is, HHO, you make it on demand, and like, this I had another container um, and I still have it and it works fine but uh, I was just experiment with some other things you have a uh, you have your your, your uh, fitting coming out of here and it goes into a bubbler so the bubbler is like it goes into water that's one way of doing it so in other words if the HHO ignites it only ignites into the hose and doesn't go back into the container the hose goes into a bubbler and then the the, uh, they call it a bubbler because the hose is on the bottom of the water and it bubbles through the water and the water acts like a, this little container of water acts like a uh, insulator between um, 
the HHO on the line that's going into the engine between that and this container directly. But you only make this on demand. But I'm just pointing out this is an extremely simple one. And it does work well. It does, I don't know what the hell it produced, but it, it uh, you know, I copied this off of people, but I was looking at a bunch of their stuff and I took the, the best ideas I saw. But this is dirt cheap, very, very simple to make. Very, very crude, but price for benefit looks like it's worth it. The information's free, so I'm just telling you what the hell it is. It's a nine plate setup. They're about, I don't know, two and a half by two and a half or three by about, I don't know, five and a half. But uh, you know what? The size is like uh, a lot of people experiment with the sizes, but this is about the best you're gonna do with a very, very, very crude device. But this doesn't work bad. Like I said, it's positive, neutral, negative. Neutral, positive, neutral, negative, neutral, positive. Nine plates, okay? And uh, distilled water and uh, lye. Very, very tiny amount. I think it's like a quarter teaspoon. I mean, it, the quarter, I mean, eighth. It's like practically nothing. You want to put very, very little bit in there because you get a very, very uh, fast reaction. It pulls a lot of amps. But uh, this seems to work fairly well for what it costs. It's just a very, very crude setup. I'm emphasizing that. Anyway, anybody wants to give it a shot, this is a uh, cheapo way of doing it.